What's going on everybody? Jason Fury here from NeverEnding Radical Dude. We finally got our Nintendo Switch in, so I thought I'd do an unboxing video for you. Here is the main box. Pretty small stuff, pretty standard stuff. It says Nintendo on the top there. Uh, I'm just going to dig in because I've been waiting for this thing a few extra days, so uh, let's take a look. Alright, so here's the box. Let's give it an open here. There you go. There's the screen, which is the base of the system. All the parts are just in this little guy right here. This is where all the action's going on. So Nintendo's created a very small, very sleek little system here. Get a look at all the sides there. Very, very cool. And here are the packed-in Joy-Cons. These things are very, very small, so when you're playing, you know, one of these will serve as a controller, and it is teeny for my sausage fingers. Again, very, very, very small. But we knew that. Ooh. So, comes packed in, we got a HDMI cord, hooks it up to your TV, basic, we got one power adapter, AC adapter, not too bulky, good, we got a lot of stuff going on behind my TV now, so the smaller the better. Here is one of the attachments to make the controller a little bit bigger with the uh, wrist strap that absolutely nobody over the age of 10 is going to use. So it does make the controller a little bit bigger, but not by much. So we'll see. Here is, this is really disappointing, it's just a base to put the Joy-Cons on. Um, and it's not a charging base, so you slide these in like this, and it creates a controller, which feels good. You know, it's it's not bad. It's it's a pretty good size. The buttons are really small. You might want to invest in the Pro Controller if this is too small for you. It feels good, I gotta admit. But you know, this base not being a charging base, I know everybody complains about it, but. That is absolutely ridiculous that they're going to charge you an extra $30 to have a charging base because the only other option is to plug in the Joy-Cons onto the system itself to charge. So, weird move. Instruction manual, nobody cares. And here is the stand for the Switch. This is just the main stand. This opens up. You've got a couple USB ports in there. Just a simple plastic black stand. The cords go in, the system locks in, and that's it. The system goes into the base like this. Charge like this. The controllers will charge when you put them into the side here. So this is how your Joy-Cons charge in the system itself. All right, so there you have it, the unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. Overall, it's a pretty great package here. We've got the system itself on the small screen base, the two Joy-Con controllers with the extra grips, the base that goes in front of your TV, the grip that makes it more like a classic controller, AC adapter, HDMI. Overall, very slick, very Nintendo-like, very you know, experimental. So it'll be interesting to see the, the shelf life of this system, to see what we're going to be playing in the future. My two main complaints, obviously, are this grip should have been a charging grip. This is just plastic, and it's just a base to put your, your Joy-Cons in. It should have most definitely been the charging one that you can buy for an extra 30 bucks, but uh, you lose points on that, Nintendo. And also, there's no packed-in games, so you got to buy a game. Obviously, I bought Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but 1-2 Switch could have easily been packed in with this, like Wii Sports before it. And, uh, you know, that game's 50 bucks. I am not going to buy that game for 50 bucks. So that's kind of a few points off for Nintendo. But just the hardware itself, the controllers feel great, the system's solid, the base is solid. Um, that That's great. And, you know, that's really all that matters in the long run because, you know, who am I kidding? I'm going to buy a bunch of games for it. For now, just Legend of Zelda. And I might download a few. So be on the lookout for that. Otherwise... Stay tuned to Never Ending Radical Dude. We'll have more Switch coverage as games come out and as new hardware comes out and new software. So stay tuned. Peace.